sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana. Yes. Since yesterday, there is a video that has really been trending. And this video is that of Maragua, member of parliament, Mary Wamawa. And it's trending because yesterday, this member of parliament attempted to gain access at Kasarani mm, during a Zimiola Umoja convention. But she was denied access. Then upon being denied access, she caused some scaffold there. And that is actually what is giving Tanga Tanga some joy. They are really celebrating <laughs> the kind of scaffold that ensued as a result of that. On the other hand, ODM party has also come out to apologize for the kind of treatment that that member of parliament was given yesterday. But in my considered opinion, I tend to believe ODM party are not very, very sincere. They don't just want to tell Kenyans exactly why this member of parliament was yesterday blocked from accessing Kasarani Stadium. And on the other hand, Tanga Tanga seems to be having a well-scripted narrative and agenda for what happened or transpired yesterday. So in this video, ladies and gentlemen, I want us to dig deep and see exactly the truth behind the whole incident yesterday. Because it seems ODM party are trying to cover up the truth. Tanga Tanga also are just trying to maybe peddle some kind of lies about the whole thing. So in this video, I want us to see exactly why that member of parliament was blocked and most definitely what was her mission at Kasarani yesterday. That's going to form our analysis and discussion today. So if in case you've just bumped here for the very, very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya. And before we dig into our analysis, I want you to first of all, have a look at that short clip of what transpired yesterday. Have a look at the clip. <laughs> Yes. That's the clip. And listening to that member of parliament, she's uttering some words there that are maybe meant to derail Raila's journey to state house. And she's also threatening those people there. A threat that, in my considered opinion, I believe she's just trying to incite her constituents of Maragua or just Mount Kenya in general. Then upon, immediately after that incident, Dennis Itumbi took to his Facebook account and posted that. Eh? Dennis Itumbi posted that. And then he attaches that clip there. And upon doing that, Kenyans were very, very quick to remind Dennis Itumbi of a post Dennis Itumbi had posted on 21st November this year, just some um, about two weeks ago. And in that post, Dennis Itumbi had this to say, Dennis Itumbi, Maragua MP Mary Wamaua began the journey to join Uda Kenya from Kieleweke. Welcome to hashtag Hustler Nation. And then Dennis Itumbi at that time attaches a photo of William Ruto and the member of parliament. So the speed by which Dennis Itumbi actually posted or shared that incident also raised eyebrows. So what does this mean, ladies and gentlemen? What is the truth behind that incident of yesterday? That's our analysis and discussion today. The first thing coming out clearly is that Tanga Tanga, Tanga Tanga wanted a clever, wanted to use this member of parliament cleverly as a spy. Yes. They wanted to use this MP as a spy. You know, as a member of parliament, she was to be accorded some kind of VIP treatment. 
and then she could just spy on behalf of Tanga Tanga hmm, to tell them exactly what had transpired and what exactly was transpiring there. Because in you know Tanga Tanga, they are not very good in trying to keep secrets. Because the same same Dennis Itumbi, when something happens, he has been on record telling us, or rather telling Kenyans, that Hasla intelligence agents are everywhere. So in my considered opinion, this was one of their agents at Azimula Umoja yesterday. And in fact, this member of parliament was just to, to spy for Tanga Tanga. How many members of parliament attended the event? How many governors? How many senators? Such kind of spying. And I tend to believe, ladies and gentlemen, that actually backfired. So in a nutshell, Tanga Tanga sent this member of parliament specifically to attend that meeting to spy on their behalf and ODM party, in my considered opinion, though they don't want just to admit that, they had prior information that this was a spy. And I believe ODM party sanctioned her blockage yesterday. Secondly, we can also give this member of parliament a benefit of doubt, or rather some benefit of doubt, that she might have been carried away by the craze this Azimula Umoja convention was actually creating across the country. Because prior to yesterday, there had been a euphoria that was being created across the country. Mm -hmm. And Kenyans or other leaders were in one way or the other persuaded or being tempted to attend that occasion or convention yesterday. So I can also accurately conclude that maybe this member of parliament or this MP actually might have been carried away <laughs> with the kind of craze or euphoria that Azimula Umoja was creating and generating across the country. And she might have been tempted to attend that convention willingly. That's also something that we can also draw or learn or from that incident yesterday. And then thirdly, this was also a plan, looking at it objectively. This was also a clever plan by Tanga Tanga, William Ruto and his brigade, to continue that, their narrative of painting ODM party, and in this case, Raila Molo Odinga, as being intolerant and violent. Because in the recent days, listening to William Ruto talk, listening to Rigathi Gashagwa talk, and also listening to some of Tangatanga -tanga leaders talk, the likes of Didi Nyoro, this Bonia Lualis, and such calibers, they have been very, very consistent on their narrative that Iwatu wakusha mawe, eh? Iwatu wakumuareli. They have been trying to paint Raila Molo Odinga as somebody who is intolerant and his people are also very intolerant. So in my considered opinion, Tangatanga -tanga might have de deliberately wanted to use this member of parliament to paint ODM party as intolerant and also as violent people. But I also believe from where I sit that that might have also backfired. Because now, <laughs> upon Dennis Itumbi, now trying to share eh, that video, actually a majority of Kenyans were fully convinced that Dennis Itumbi and Tanga Tanga William Ruto, they were just trying to play cheap politics. And Kenyans were quick to remind Dennis Itumbi eh, of the kind of posts he, he posted some few weeks ago about the same same member of parliament. In fact, Dennis Itumbi insinuated, just as I've stated in our first point, that this member of parliament was dumping Kieleweke for Tanga Tanga. So that propaganda backfired because Kenyans reminded Dennis Itumbi that Dennis Itumbi had posted that this member of parliament was actually dumping Kieleweke for Tanga Tanga. Yes. And then fourthly, from my own observation now, I tend to believe that Tanga Tanga, they might be running scared of Raila's popula popularity rise on the mountain as a result of yesterday's convention. Because from yesterday's convention, looking at the whole thing yesterday, it was very, very clear that President Uhuru Kenyatta and his government 
were fully behind the whole convention. And largely because our politics is ethnic based, Tanga Tanga in one way or the other, unless they maybe they're just living in denial. It's a given fact, ladies and gentlemen, that Raila's popularity is set to rise on the mountain as a result of that convention alone. Because residents of the mountain saw yesterday that their son Uhuru Kenyatta, going by the, the number of the cabinet secretaries and those who attended that convention yesterday, it became very clear to residents of Mount Kenya yesterday that their son Uhuru Kenyatta is actually behind Araila Mulu Odinga candidature and president. So that has the potential of actually making Raila Molo Odinga popularity to rise on the mountain. That's also something that maybe scares Tanga Tanga. So they just want to incite <laughs> the ground against Raila Molo Odinga because I know in the coming days, you will see Raila Molo Odinga going to the mountain, maybe to run some serious campaigns there. So Tanga Tanga are just running scared here. And then finally, ODM party are also just playing PR here. They are just playing, they are just trying to play PR. They don't want to tell Kenyans that this was a spy who was deliberately sent by Tanga Tanga to cause confusion and to spy on their behalf, or rather to spy for Tanga Tanga. I tend to believe ODM party, they are not, they are not just being brave enough and bold enough to admit that. Because in my considered opinion again, I tend to believe that by them admitting that, then there are so many questions that can be raised as a result of that. But in my considered opinion again, I tend to believe that this member of parliament being blocked yesterday from accessing Kasarani Stadium was well in order. There is nothing that was actually wrong with that. Because now if ODM party had prior information that this was a spy. It was well within their powers to block that kind of a spy. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, just as I did indicate when we were starting, if you've just bumped here for the very, very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. And to those who watching us outside Kenya for the very, very first time, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. And if possible, subscribe if you are not yet subscribed and also give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very, very much grateful and very humbled for the kind of support you are giving me here on a daily basis by constantly giving our videos likes, constantly dropping your comments. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana.